Big Cat Gaming here, and welcome to Pokemon Crystal. My favorite Pokemon game. I'm so excited to jump into this. So let's go ahead and jump in. That looks good. Uh, boy. Huh? What? He woke me up. Can you check the clock for me? What time is it? Uh, I'm gonna go with my... Real time, I think, for now. Which is currently quite late at night. Ooh, 119. No wonder it's so dark. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Pro. This world is inhabited by creatures that leak all Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some dabble with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There's still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what you say your name was? I'm going to go with for our name for this game. I'm gonna say Gold. I think it's. I, I don't know. I kind of like just not going with my real name for some of these. I don't know, I just find it kind of interesting to just treat them as separate characters, I guess. So, gold. Hey, ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures that the Pokemon awaits. Let's go. See you later. Here we are. And, uh, nothing in a PC. Oh, I love this game. I go back and play this every couple of years, honestly. Oh god, our neighbor Professor Elmo was looking for you. Said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon, your Poke Gear is back from the right pair shop. Here you go. Go out to see Poke Gear. Pokemon Gear, or just Poke Gear, it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week is in set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Uh, it's 1 a.m. now, it's technically Tuesday. Yeah, it is. Cool. Tuesday, is it? I do not know, uh, but sure. Can I use the phone? Yes. Then you just turn up the poker here and select the phone icon. The numbers are stored in memory. Choose the name you want to call. She isn't that convenient. Alright, with that being done. Uh, apparently our neighbor here was with us, but also, hey, there's a weird kid over here. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Rude. Guess I'll ignore him for now. Gold, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. We're conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you can help me with the gold. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently bought. Sure. Thanks, Gold. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Alright, I got an email. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Maybe I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon and such. Wait. I know. Gold, can you go now, please? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Gold. Go on, pick one. Sir, I fought long and hard about this. I love Totodile dearly. Uh, but I think there's a different water type I'd rather get later on. Uh, I love... I love Chikorita, the grass types are unfortunately really awful in this game. And so... There's not many fire types in this game that you can get. There's only two or three. Certainly no real new ones. So, I'm gonna take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. Uh... Sure, I think. What I usually go for, it's not... 
terribly uh, original or interesting, but I don't know, I always like going with Cinder for my Cyndaquil. So I think I'm going to go with that for this one too. This Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Oh, we've got Elm's phone number. If I want to say it, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it any time. Gold, I'm counting on you. Uh, real quick before I go, I just want to say... Oh, okay, can't look at it again. Uh, any t I do like to pick the Odal a lot as well. Uh, and any time that I do, I just wanted to say that my nickname for it is Brotodile, and I think that that's very clever. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with that nickname, I just wanted to share that. Oh man, I'm so happy to be here in this game. God, yes. I'll try and change up the time, so that way, yeah, you get a good variety of day and night. But for now, we're going to be recording at night. And we got our first battle. We have a Rattata. Nothing particularly new or interesting, unfortunately. If you watch the other game, but hey, it's cool to see. So, if you come in here from Pokemon Yellow and uh, don't know what this game introduces that's new, I'll cover a little bit of it now. Starters, they've added gender to every Pokemon, not just Nidorans, uh, which is something. Uh, they also added an experience bar so you can see how close you are to your next level, which is such a good idea. Also, anytime you want to go into your uh, menu, you can go to move and you can actually see attack power, what type, and also like a description of the moves. Which honestly, god, the first game needed. <laughs> I'm so happy they did. Also, now Pokemon can open items, which is a common place nowadays in the games, but this was the first game to introduce it. It didn't start with that. Which honestly is just kind of uh, wild to me. Alright, we got another Radisson. Uh, they, they, they really touched up the sprite work up a lot. So now all the Pokemon look, don't look weird like the first generation kind of had. Uh, like, sort of a weirdness to how everything looked. Like now everything looks like Pokemon. And like, I don't know, I just... I love Game Boy graphics, I don't know what it is. Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. Like, Considering a good chunk of the games on my channel right now, and probably in the near future, are gonna be Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color games, it's probably not surprising. But when we say yes to this guy, he'll give us a tour and just explain the basic things like Pokemon Centers heal you. Uh, but at the end of it, he gives you something kinda help, kinda handy to have. So I think it's worth talking to him. In the remix, this guy is both essential and also uh, <laughs> it gives you running shoes instead, which would be handy, but unfortunately they didn't uh, exist until the next game. Pokemon, Spinarak. He's another bug guy. I've never used one. Uh, could be interesting, but I won't be using one. I do have my team planned out for this uh, generation. So, I'm excited to see what we... I'm excited to get to where we have our whole team together. This is the other thing, uh, every time I've played for this game, I've played for it sped up. I've never sat and just played for it at regular speed with the music. 
So this will be a little bit new for me as well, because obviously I'm familiar with it. I've done it at least once, but you know, I'll get to finally like really just take in every part of this game and go through it at a regular pace. Well, what am I spot? I don't know, if I need grinding or something, I might uh, cheese that a little bit, but I can speed that up, but, you know, I don't intend to abuse that or anything. If I did, I'd feel a bit for the sake of, like, getting the next video started or something. I'm not gonna just cut to me being level 99 or something ridiculous before the first gym. God, that would be a pain as well. Jeez, we got poisoned. Well, oh, that's a bummer. Alright, that guy's down. Now, do we have anything that can heal? No, we don't. So, time to run back to Pokemon Center once again. Cure the poison. And I think we'll probably buy an answer or two to avoid this happening again. Oh, also, the other big thing they added was obviously uh, changing time, which is kind of <laughs> kind of amazing, honestly, that they accomplished that on a Game Boy. You could put in a what real time it was for you, and it would keep track of that even when it's off, like. That is honestly kind of amazing. Also, I just skipped the, uh, find an antidote like a damn fool. I think there's one up ahead, though, so we should be okay. Now, we got a bear from that tree, but also if we talk to this guy, he'll give us another one. I don't really use berries, but, you know, they're handy. They only heal 10 HP, but if you give it to a Pokemon, they'll use it automatically. Uh, that's actually the hold item that our, uh, Cinder's got right now. Which is handy. I think that item might be an antidote. Or something similar. Hoot hoot! The other, uh... Another new Pokemon. This is the Pidgey of this series. There's always a Pidgey and Rattata equivalent in each new generation. Uh, Hoot Hoot is the equivalent of Pidgey for this generation. Like, there's always at the first route of the new of a new game, there's always gonna be some normal type rat sort of thing and some normal flying bird. Nice we're at level seven. It's gonna be a little bit before Cinder gets a fire type move. There we go, we got an antidote. Oh, so we're all good. We're actually nearly there. Oof. So this will just be a lost fight. Another hoo hoo, that's alright. So, with this series, uh, I do plan on having... Well, I guess also just going forward in general with Pokemon games when I play through them. Uh, typically, and in series, I like to go with whatever's new for that generation. So, basically, I'm going to try and use Zyma Pokemon of Gen 2 for this game. I'm probably going to use Pokemon of Gen 3 for the next game. Uh, with some caveats to that kind of... It's not a hard rule by any means, but I have some caveats to that. If it starts off as a, as a form exclusive to one and then or, you know, it winds up being a form exclusive to that generation, that's fine with me. So, you know, if we get uh, one of the baby Pokemon from this generation, that evolves into a regular Pokemon, if that would that would be fine with me. So, yeah. Just really quick explaining that. Hello, hello, you must be gold. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Gold received Mystery Egg. Put the Mystery Egg in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Okia recognizes that. My assumption is correct. Professor Elm will know it. 
Aha, so you're gold. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, is this a rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. The researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would trust your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. Now would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically goes data on Pokemon you've seen before. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I meet many kinds of Pokemon, and complete that Pokedex, but I've stayed too long. I have to get to Golden Road for my usual radio show. Golden counting on you. You are returning to press at home? Yeah, you probably should have some rest. You got a nice free heal. Depending on you. Now, once we try to leave, Professor Elm's gonna call us. Uh, hello? Gold? It's a disaster. Uh, oh, uh, it's just terrible. What should I do? I, it, oh no. Let's get back here now. Click. Sounds like there's some trouble. But I think we're gonna get to that next episode. Okay, so, thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you all next time for some more Pokemon Crystal. Thanks so much, and I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.